an AMI digital exclusive. These are the Awakeners. I recently journeyed to Ottawa to catch up with renowned Indigenous photographer Jeff Thomas. Jeff has achieved an extensive CV of exhibitions and accolades, including the Governor General's Award for Visual and Media Arts. Jeff, thank you for inviting me to your home here in Ottawa. It's so interesting, all your black and white photographs that you're well known for. Despite his paralysis from a car accident in the 70s, Jeff's determination kept him on his quest to examine the Indigenous experience through photography. In the 1980s, there were no uh, Indigenous photographers, either historically or in a contemporary sense. So I've always been working from a void. And in terms of using photography as a stepping stone to talk about crucial issues in a way that invites people to be a part of the conversation. I'm Ruth Phillips. I'm an art historian and curator and museum director. I think growing up when he did, it was very clear to him that in the specific area of identity, there were terrible uh, wrongs and injustices that needed to be righted to, in a sense, correct the way that people see Indigenous life in North America now and in the past. And so that's what I'm doing with my work, is talking about the urban Indigenous experience. When I started, nobody talked about it. My name is Bear Witness, and I'm Jeff Thomas's son. A really well-known photo is the uh, Cultural Revolution one, because my dad talks about that as being the beginning of a lot of things. He was starting to find things that I was wearing, things in the city that would have a synergy in the message. My priority for my work is to reach an Indigenous youth audience. So how do you get their attention? I've been DJing for about 25 years. His knowledge is constantly something that I lean back on. We've never had control of our own image as Indigenous people. And that goes back to portraiture painting. It goes photography through film, always through the lens of somebody else. And it was like, OK, we're performers. We can affect how people are going to have an idea of what Indigenous culture is in 2021. And that's what I learned from photography. It was about saying, this is who I am and this is where, this is what I see. Mm -hmm. Louis did say that uh, our artists would bring our spirit back and that's what it feels like. Well, I remember the first time I heard about Louis Riel and his prophecy about uh, 100 years later. And there is a movement, it's true. Oh yeah. And what I came to realize is that it's being able to see ourselves in relationship to the world we're a part of. And that's the most important part, is telling our stories and sharing those things about today. And the artists are the ones that are doing that. Stream more AMI original content at AMI.ca.